Leftist opposition candidate He Omar Castro held a commanding lead early Monday as Hondurans appeared poised to remove the conservative National Party from power after 12 years of rule. Castro declared herself the winner despite orders from the National Electoral Council to political parties to await official results. We win! We win! Castro, Honduras' former first lady who is making her third presidential run, told Shearing Liberty and Reef Foundation Party supporters when only a fraction of the ballots had been tallied. By early Monday, Castro's wide early lead was holding up. With 45% of the polling station tallies in, Castro had 53% of the votes in a spur 33%, according to the National Electoral Council preliminary count. In 2017, after a protracted election filled with irregularities, protesters filled the streets and the government imposed a curfew. Three weeks later outgoing President Orlando Hernandez was declared the winner despite the Organization of American States observation mission calling for an election redo. At least 23 people were killed. Late Sunday, Castro promised a permanent dialogue with the Honduran people and said beginning Monday she wanted to open conversations with all sectors of Honduran society and international organizations to seek solutions for the Central American country, which is recovering from two major hurricanes. Her husband, the former president, ousted by a military coup in 2009, did not appear on stage with her, but her son and daughter were there. Castro received a late surge of support from Salvador Nasrallah, who lost to Hernandez in 2017, and in his own candidacy and joined her alliance in October. The move took a three-way race that could have favored Spur to just two. Castro rode a wave of discontentment with the National Party's 12-year reign. Hernandez became a national embarrassment with you. As federal prosecutors in New York accusing him of running a narco state and fueling his own political rise with drug money. 